H5P activities are created and stored in a content bank to allow you to easily reuse content across courses. In the course content bank, you can upload .h5p files from your local computer, or you can pull activities that have been created in other courses on your LMS. You can also create new H5P activities. To create a new activity, you can select a content type from the drop-down list. Follow the H5P examples link above this video to see an example of each content type. Once you've made your selection, you can give your activity a name and then follow the prompts to add your content and interactions. You can follow the H5P tutorials link above this video for help with setting up the specific content types. When you're ready, you can save your activity to add it to the content bank. You will still be able to edit the activity, but it will now be available for you to add to your course. To add an H5P activity to your course, you can then enable editing mode and select H5P from the content picker. Give your activity a name, and then select a file from the course content bank. You can add an independent copy of the selected file to your course. Alternatively, adding a link to the file in the content bank will ensure that any updates made to the file in the content bank will automatically update the activity in your course. Under H5P options, you can select whether or not to display buttons that will allow users to download your file, copy an embed code, or see the file's copyright ownership. In the grade section, you can select whether the activity should be graded based on numerical points, a scale, or not graded at all. If you select the points grade type, you will need to specify the maximum amount of points a learner can earn for this activity. You can then also set a minimum amount of points required to pass the activity. Under Attempt Options, you can enable attempts tracking for the activity, and then specify which attempts should be included when grading learners. You can also specify whether or not learners should be able to review their own attempts. You can also add restrictions to control the conditions under which learners will be able to access your activity. In the Activity Completion section, you can enable completion tracking and then specify the conditions that a learner must meet in order to complete the activity. You can require learners to either view the activity, receive a grade, or both. You can also set a date by which learners will be expected to meet these conditions. Finally, you can add tags to allow learners to search and connect related content. And when you click on Save and Display, your H5P activity will be available in your course.